up all? Tahil, the almighty propagator of doom and despair. And this album came out in 2013 on Wraith Productions. Tahil are two piece from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and they play a mixture of death metal, black metal, and doom metal, and it's all very crusty, crusty as fuck. And this is some truly macabre sounding music. It's very fuzzed out, heavily distorted, filthy, mangled, and it's all blended with black metal, death metal, and doom. And like I mentioned before, it's so filthy, filthy sounding. Um, the vocals have an interesting effect to them. The, the, the lead vocalist could easily fit into any of those genres I just mentioned. Um, he plays in a somewhat mid-range. It's not quite high pitch. It's not very deep. But it is very raspy, though. And he almost sings in this black metal manner. But it's the backing vocals that add this whole other effect to this record. The backing vocals, I can't tell if they're artificial or someone is really sing singing in this manner, but it sounds so incredibly demonic and it's almost as, as if Satan is doing the backing vocals on this record. Not only that, there's this constant flow of backmasking throughout, throughout this record. You know how they say when you play Beatles, the white record, that there's demonic proverbs or something. I've never, I mean, I've tried it myself and I didn't hear anything, so I don't know what they're talking about. But you, there's this backmasking that has this very satanic effect. And I'm really liking that element on this record as this whole other dynamic for an already very dense sound. And for how dense and demonic this record is, it's very inviting in my opinion. I, I, I easily put this on and I'm, I'm right into the thick of it. And it's actually fun to listen to, especially on tracks like Possessed by Death, where gang vocals are, are yelling and you can fucking die. But it's so catchy and inviting, like I mentioned earlier, that you just get caught up in, in the fury. The punishing drum work on the track, Semen, Blood, and Shit. But my by far favorite track on this record, and I probably shouldn't even try to pronounce it, but it's entitled Mors Ut Libertas. And just from the very get-go, it's... Tahil firing on all cylinders at such a vicious speed throughout the entire track. It has all the elements of their sound thrown in there as well. It's, it's, it's extremely fast, black metal, very doomy, very crusty as fuck. An absolute beauty in my opinion. And something I recommend is if you do like this band and this record, to pick up a CD and check out the lyric sheet. It's amazing how each track is like an essay. So lengthy. And when you follow along, you're learning about all these satanic gods and uh, these bizarre rituals. And it's very interesting. And this is definitely a record that I highly recommend you all peeping out if you haven't already. Check out the description box below where I'll link you to their Bandcamp page. You can listen to this record in its entirety and form your own opinion about it. Sick, sick stuff in my opinion. I'm really digging this record. It's Tahil, the almighty propagator of doom and despair. And it came out in 2013 on Wraith Productions. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you all next time.